The button has been pressed. Aren't you impressed? Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to Bears and Dragons, the show where a bunch of snooty ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you very much. Uh, we are short to leave today, uh, but uh, that's okay. We'll continue. Uh, and uh, see what else happens on our adventures right now. What happened last time? What happened last time? The question. Here, maybe this will help. Roll for initiative. All right. <laughs> Let me... I'm not going to uh, take responsibility. All right. Oh, there we go. Now, before we get into combat, do you remember why you guys are trying to look for troops? What was the name of the guild? The Grey Ghosts. So who told me you about the Grey Ghosts? I, I'm quizzing you because I realized, well, re-watching last episode, I don't think you guys remember some of the specifics as to why you're even here besides searching for jerky.
Thimber Chod just asked you to help out the Keepers of the Flame. Gart? Stone guard. Okay. Well, I will tell you this: the stone guards, uh, early of or air day of uh, these stone guards, the captain of the stone guards wants you to find Droki because they think that he, that he's linked with the conspiracy involving the Council of Savants and maybe even elements among the clan lairds. Specifically regarding the Curie Ghost, believe that Droki has a connection, which could help you maybe find them. But they didn't really ask it for anything about bringing Droki back. Uh, the these Stone Giants just wanted to thank you for what you did, and uh, that's pretty much. Yep. Who grew two heads? It just happened. Insanity ran out of ran out of the cavern. All right. So I'm for a skirmish. Why do I say that? Because that's the name of the song that I play whenever. That's on the battle music. So first off, I, yeah, I will let you uh, place yourselves where you want to be. Roderick, I think you were the one who basically triggered the combat, so you can't move. But where do you think Gage, Leaf, and Holly, and uh, Laster and Syrah, if you want to position yourself where you would have been as Roderick was entering the room? Uh, yeah, sure. Hold on. Yep. Maybe you control this token. All right. Uh, speaking of which, Leaf is up first. It's all the turn order.
He does like using a combination of Thorn Whip and Magic. You know, some of his past. It is a 20 foot uh, cube. You could probably get both of them in there. Twenty foot cube, I believe, is that. Like that, or do you want that moved a little bit? Or do you, do you want to do something like this? So they might be able to get out of it, but people can get up right next to them. Keep in mind, it does turn the, the ground into difficult terrain. So, and that affects everybody. So whether they get actually get entangled, they still, this, each square in the, uh, is considered two feet, or, uh, 10 feet of movement. Like this, maybe? Here we are. <laughs> so, let's see here. We're doing there when the cat spells cast was like to get out and just Things are going to be restrained to creatures. It's five feet. Yeah, it, it's just inside the box that I'm going to be drawing, that I've drawn, drawn, it will be difficult to rain, so it's going to cost you extra movement. See all this movement and then the bonus action. Break saves. Ooh. They do not save. They are restrained. Ah, ah, mm. Beer from the from the Darrow. The Darrow can't. Oh, you're restrained. Restrained condition. Their speed is zero. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Creatures attack rolls with disadvantage, and the creature has. Oh, actually, they have advantage. So, 
One of them was not restrained. Because they have advantage on that. Do, do, do. Okay, cool. All right, this one. Uh, so, 10. And get right about there. And it seems like he's starting to uh, uh, open the cage for this cave bear. The other one. But he'll try uh, shooting a crossbow over at Leaf. Disadvantage. Uh, oh, only one attack. Excuse me. I'm assuming 12 doesn't hit Leaf, right? Nope. So he's got all these vines and he's just goes, ah, shit. Double check. In the All right. So the dare was able to get over here and actually uh, open the cage. The the bear. Who's up there? The other one's kind of room chunk chunk as they beat on their cage doors. Roderick. I believe a dragon head appears over your face and these arms kind of appear as armor around your arms, if I remember correctly. Fails. Mm. <laughs> 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 He kind of ducks out of the way of your first one, but then the other one comes up and gives him an uppercut. Zyra.
That'll it. And we got. Fifteen points of damage. All right. Uh, how do you want to do this? Lassiter. Gotta play your character. You hit him really, really hard. He stumbles back into the uh, like fence of the pens. He's still up, not looking very good. Well, it depends on how many levels of warlock he has. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It should it should say on your character sheet. Yeah, you do have to roll for the second attack. They're each each beam is a separate attack. And uh, feeling like you haven't done this before, you, you were kind of surprised about the second one, and it, it goes in the same direction, but because the first one kind of pushed him back, it whisks right past him. Hey. I think it just would. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's free. So he pulls out, out a sword to hilt and lights up his uh, uh, Dawnbringer. And. Uh, Comes close to the cave bear. Bear a little too far for him, but he he's just gonna ready an attack in case the cave bear gets in melee. No. Well, that's a whole bunch of us. I'm on. I'm on a. Anyways, I, I can't think of any jokes. <laughs> Holly.
Leaf, go ahead and just drop your and take a moment. I don't need that anymore. To attack the bear if it gets within range. Yeah, it move up to 10 feet. So it doesn't have to move the, move the full 10 feet. It doesn't seem to to catch on the uh, catch on the bear. It it like slaps it, but doesn't seem to to really hit it hard enough. Any buzz action? He has, he has another cantrip that's a bonus action. Yeah. I'm imagining on like, this entire adventure, he's been pricking up these little pretty rocks that he keeps in a pouch at his side. So he tries his thorn whips like, Ugh, and pulls, goes into his pouch and then tosses his magic stone. That'll hit. So for eight points. Yeah. I'm like, you know what, it says eight. And like, what's this other magic zone? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, this uh, cave bear's got a lot of blood coming off of him. All right, the Darrow. Uh, looking a little yippy. Makes a run. This way. So he's going to run over in duck for cover. All right, the caveat moves right here and goes to attack Roderick. But before that happens, Dave swipes at him with his Thunbringer. Team that hits. Oh. 
four total points of damage. I think you can only do one attack with the held action. And the cape bear is going to go and attack Roderick, though. He comes in to, to swipe at you for 21. Or 14 points of slashing damage. And uh goes to bite you for another 10 points. 21 and 22. Uh, the cave bears are banging on their 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 uh, gates. They're they're keeping them in. Roderick, you just got mauled by a bear. Uh, Roderick, how do you want to do this? And you do. So you you, you take your astrally covered fists and just pop into it. And then your astral arm just kind of keeps going. And his ca his face just caves in. Is currently got this nice. It's if he was a gummy bear, he would his it would be like a little pucker. Pucker as everything's just like squished inside. Or a teddy bear, I suppose. This is somebody who's trying to come inside. Uh, that hits, and, uh, you kind of come around, so you're just enough around the corner, and you're like, smile, and just beat his face in. Maybe he falls to the ground. Right into the wall. Falls down to the ground. Syra! Oh wait a minute! Yeah, Roderick had one more turn, one more thing. So, sorry. Okay. Now, Syra. Uh, their cage gates seem kind of busted. And they've been kind of ramming into them. You could think they might be able to push through with one more shove. Oh, damn track pads. This maybe? Boyd Roderick. 
right. They have a saving throw because it will go over the cage. Fail and su success. So this this is restrained or what's the status? Okay, that's restrained. The other one is not. Is and the, the rest is difficult terrain. terrain and lightly obscure their area if the webs aren't anchored between two solid things or layered across the floor. Smaller ceiling, the conjured web collapses on itself. So I'd say it's layered across the floor, kind of like a blanket, almost. All right. Lassiter. Appears to be two angry bears. Well, you can't see the angry bears, but you can hear. Just kind of mm -hmm. well, that's just for attack rolls. Or you can do Aldrich Blast and then Okay. Ages turn. Gonna come up by Roderick. Yeah, and it'll go ahead and manifest an echo right here. Uh, 
Oh, 15 feet. Only 15 feet. He'll put a duplicate of himself over here. Although it's more of a shadowy form. Holly. Leaf. Yes. We really haven't had much for of animals. Okay. Here is dead. J bears. I just realized that we for to uh do some additional spells so I give him a couple extra ones that he could have prepared. Nice thing about druids, you can change your spells even. All right. So does it leave? <laughs> Charging out. The this bear is going to come up here and it gauges. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you can roll both. It's really up to you. Uh, they both hit. Uh, 
Uh, looks pretty hurt. Right, he ta still tapped one, misses on the first one, uh, hits on the second one, and this pops out of the room. Uh, oop, wait a minute, it's still cave bears. Uh, this one. Two. What's the uh, DC and the uh, strength save? Oh, hey, he makes it. And that's at the end of his turn or the start of his turn? Uh, it should actually say up here. I can look. Uh, Check and against his spell save. Oh, right, so you have to use its action to to break out, right? Okay. So he's gonna come out and I think a forty feet movement. So we come up at these guys, but he can't. He won't attack because he can't. Uh, does a another spell trigger? Somebody else has a health spell. Yeah, we'll miss. Kind of gets thrown off. So it's on each of their turns they make the. Oh, they start their turn. Okay. So this one actually did start his turn. The other one. Yeah, but I didn't make one this turn. At the start of this turn. So. Oh, okay. Okay, so when it goes out, it triggers, but the next turn does not. But then the one after that is when it starts doing it constantly. Okay. Okay, got it. All right, Roderick. Which one are you attacking? Left or left? Okay. The healthier one. Uh, nope, barely hits. Or or almost hits, I should. E13, that all hit. Six points of damage. I'll hit. He's not looking good. His pelt is covered in blood. Sarah.
Uh, the one on the left now looks more hurt. It was the reverse, but then Roderick took, uh, made some punches. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you can't because it's dead. Well, you can, but... He is not looking good. Mm hmm. Yeah. But they're not covered in the webs. The webs are at their feet. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Good question. But no, I don't think anything would happen to the web. More like an area of effect. Probably do that, but this is more targeted. Anything else, sir? Lasser. Sure. Just do one at a time. I'll hit. You're not hard to hit. His four still up, but looking pretty rough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hit. It's dead. <laughs> you banged the bear. Anyways, here we go. And they're all dead. What would you like to do now? So far, you haven't seen Jerky since you all came in here. Sure, give me an investigation check. All right, inside the tent, you find two flea-ridden flea bedrolls, a Zerkwood bucket containing, uh, looks like, edible fungi, and a wineskin full of some sort of... Mm, beer. Smells like the stuff that's from the at the uh, tavern at the end.
He's uh, currently on your shoulders watching him. You're looking at the stuff you're looking at. He he doesn't look at you like he he doesn't give you any bad, evil looks or anything. Lil Borkhead has no problem with you drinking at all. We discussed this before. There's other things that he 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 just rolls his eyes at, but drinking. Like you can drink all you want. Is when you for you to take off that necklace. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, you remember last time you took off that necklace. With the bodies, with the bodies. I don't really have much. The more fun. Put some. All right. Who's uh, taking a look at the bodies? Roderick, roll me a d10. All right. Uh, the one you look at has about 14 copper pieces. Lasser, were you going to look at the other one, which is closer to you? I deleted off the map. Right. Yeah. Uh, nope. Um, unless they were taken, there were two free flea riding bed rolls. The circuit bucket. I'm assuming that last year took all the fungi, or did you just take the stout, the beer? Okay. Um, uh, They just look like some crystals, some purple crystals. Uh, yeah, you, you've seen plenty of these. These are just some of the basic edible fungi. They're not edibles. They're just edible. <laughs> oh, uh, one of the... Uh, uh, I'm going to say uh, Roderick probably also found this. There's all, uh, You also find a key on the Darrow that you looked at.
Nope. A uh, bunch of bear poop. And probably some feeding troughs. Really spoiled meat. So, everybody kind of stuff chills out for 10 minutes, and Syrah, uh detect magic activates, and you do fee see a faint aura of enchantment around this entire spiral. It's... And just verifying what's uh no it is literally enchantment is the 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 school of magic enchantment Yeah, you also, as you go back uh, up there, that dotted line was a gate. Uh, it, you do see a keyhole. You figure they, somebody forgot to lock the gate. That's why you were able to get in so easily. Uh, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Uh, Roderick, as you get to the center, can you roll, give me a Wisdom saving throw? All right. Uh, Lasser, you have no idea what these are. Um, Roderick, um, as you kind of circle around, nothing happens. Nope. I just asked you to throw me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> for, for really no reason at all. <laughs> yeah, it's a faint aura. So, uh, why don't you roll, give me an arcana check? Yay. Um, so you feel like this has magical, like uh, it can have a magical effect on things, um, but it's currently dormant. Being, uh, it, it might, you might be able to activate it somehow, 
but because of the type it is, because enchantments usually are used for charms, um, is, and the cave bears did not attack the Darrow. They attacked everybody but the Darrow. That maybe they use this to basically tame the cave bears. Go ahead and uh, roll me attack. Unarmed strike. No, he he hits it. It's it's not that hard hard to necessarily hit. The only thing is instead of doing it any damage, uh, it 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 really hurts your foot. Ah, not one of those like lingering, you broke a toe things, but, but like you sprained, like you just kind of like stub your toe. Then she tells you what it is, and you're like, oh, <laughs> it could be useful. <laughs> yep. These look like the ones that make you little and the ones that make you big. Uh, it's just a bunch of containers. Nothing in them right now. Also, there's, uh, I have no idea, so. I, nothing of significance. <laughs> I don't know what it tells you when when uh, Lasser keeps wanting to split the party. He, 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 you look at him, and he looks back at you, and he kind of like, what do you mean? He squawks and flies off your shoulder and, and heads in that direction. All right, we 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 need to zoom out. Um, Sure. I mean, you don't have to sit down to do it, but um, go 
So you guys are are, are liking here. So it, do you see where you guys are? Is what it's a huge map. <laughs> All right. So I'll bark at us. Hold me. Play. Well, you can't communicate with him, but you can still see his through his eyes. Yeah, it kind of like follows down the hall a little bit. And then after a certain amount of time, back. They take us about maybe uh, five minutes to fly down the hall and fly back. But otherwise, he didn't really see anything. Uh, don't worry about him when we're on the big map. Just because it's so big. <laughs> it's really just you making your way so that you can see what's happening in the map. Right. All of you essentially become halflings. As you turn the corner, you come around a bend. You notice a, the narrow tunnel is lit by ambient light found throughout this complex. Ahead, you hear the high-pitched crackling, cackling of several creatures. Um... In this adventure, we haven't run into it, so you could, uh... Hmm. Did you run into one of these? Uh, roll me a history check. I'm like debating, debating between religion and history, but it's kind of like one of those things where religion doesn't quite work. Um, I would I would say that you're definitely uh, it's something that's fiendish in nature, but they're tiny little creatures. Are you are you are you trying to be stealthy or are you just charging down just normal bit? Okay. And I'm going to make a call for Leaf. Leaf will, will suddenly like throw out his hands and the shadows start to envelop all of you as he casts Pass Without a Pass Without Trace. So you have plus 10 to your your uh, uh plus 10 to your stealth rolls. And Yeah, he forgot to add more spells since he leveled, and so I just added some for him. So you might have to refresh. But I did pick Pass Without Trace, so I think it's level three. 
Birds of love too. Okay, he's got three little twos. So you all were gonna kind of stealth in now. And Leaf and Holly. So eight, so Gage gets an 18. <laughs> this is the problem with wearing heavy armor. Uh, but I believe. All of a sudden, as they're coming down, Cyrus' shadows meld around them and they disappear. <laughs> yeah, I wanted you to have Borkad. Uh, well, no, he's with you. Silva, uh, yeah, if if Silva and and Borkad are are not actually actively doing anything, I just assume they're either with you or dismissed. Well. Sova would be. <laughs> Forkhead's very difficult about being dismissed. <laughs> kind of like that. Does anybody speak abyssal? Uh, that's not abyssal. No, it's not. It's very different. No, uh, don't let either of those <laughs> this type of people hear you say that. Hmm? Age does not speak abyssal. Oh, he does speak abyssal. Huh. Well, Gage, look at you. See. Are they really speaking about anything? Not really. How are you going to do? Yeah, they seem to be uh, wrestling each other. Uh, I mean, in the tighter spaces. Okay, so let me let me tell you about my ruling in regards to pass without trace. Pass without trace affects you when it's cast, and as long as concentration is main. You can go wherever you need to go. You still have the effects. So it's it's like if you cast fly or invisibility on somebody. You don't have to be standing next to them 
in order for them to be effect. You just need to be within range when they cast it. That's that's my that's my ruling on how it works. Other people probably are like, no, it's in a thirty foot radius of the person who cast it, but. Uh, two feet wide. Uh, twenty, twenty. It, it is twenty feet high in these narrow tunnels. You got two directions that you can go. You can go left or right. I'm assuming I'm I'm taking this that you're all trying to whisper this. The Darrow. Yeah, go ahead and have him roll a uh, survival check. Okay, so ahead of you all, you do see a little. He does catch a little, a faint uh, trail of what would be some footprints from what looks to be a small version of a Darrow. Uh, and it goes towards goes this way. We all kind of like tiptoe. All right, as you come out, let's take a look at. Smell of brimstone and foul chemicals emanates from this large chamber. The light of campfire shows a natural pattern where five Darrow are droning a coffinous chant. A two-headed dog stirs inside a cage, while another Darrow near nearby plays plays a plays with a crossbow and watches the dog nervously. A green glow rises suddenly from a magic cir circle at the center of the platform where a small humanoid statue is the focus of the chanting ritual. As you watch, a lump sprouts from the st statue's neck, enlarging and reshaping itself with each unholy verse to take the form of a second head. And we have... You have another map. Let me get you guys on here. Let me know if for some reason you don't have vision. You are also small, technically small size right now. Okay. 
so. Yes, there are. So the dog and the nervous guy is over here. Ritual is happening up here. So there's the text I read. Nice thing about about Beyond Twenty is is it with the add on it has a little button next to you. Uh, read text boxes, and I can click it, and it just goes to the oh, range at. Yep. Uh, it's a natural five foot high platform. So, not that high. Mm -hmm. Climb up five feet. <laughs> Something you can kind of like, eh. <laughs> I would say to get up to the top of, of the, I mean, the, the way it is on the map, um, you, you could just take a, the walk through, um, just walk right through, uh, to, to climb it. It's not that hard to just like leap up there, but it would take you essentially what would be 10 feet of movement to get from the bottom to the top. But because the map has that extra five foot square in the middle <laughs> where the climb up would be, just that kind of takes it into consideration. So you can go directly to it. But part of that is you actually just gaining elevation. That's all it is. Yeah, basically everybody can use that as regular five feet of movement based off of this. So, like, uh, uh, this is actually. 30 feet. And you would still need to climb up. You're just, the way you're climbing up is just walking up the wall. It's just, everybody else has to go, eh. <laughs> Yeah. Just slightly easy. Guys rolled good enough on your stealth checks. I'm just gonna say as you come out and see this, nobody notices you. All right, roll me another stealth check. I mean, you could pop an Eldritch Blast while being small. I mean, it really doesn't affect your stats. <laughs> you're, you're, just, you're just, you're just, you're different size. That's all you are. If you want to stay small, you're very welcome to. I don't know how Ron will enjoy that, but still. No, because it's a spell. <laughs> I suppose if you're trying to hit something physically, yeah, that might affect things. You would be like a minus D4, but.
Paige has a mushroom in hand, but he hasn't eaten it. Uh, there, I mean, right now you technically don't know if they're enemies, but they're, but all of those Darrow that are around this circle are all held chanting. Um, and unless you, so did you eat a, uh, one of the big ones, the big mushrooms? So you're still small that okay. you, because of your height, it, he would have like, uh, uh three quarters cover. So he would be a harder to hit. You would have to eat the mushroom, go big, and and hit. And I would say eating a mushroom is like taking a potion for yourself. It's a bonus action. Okay. Okay. First, first. Uh. Uh. Oh well, you're gonna cast guiding bolt, so I'm not gonna have you roll a anything. Uh, everybody, roll initiative, please. There will be a surprise round. I don't care about the uh, whole surprise is a condition thing. I do surprise rounds. <laughs> That's right. We'll, we'll add you on. All right. So I need. just need it yeah i can also just add a turn i want to do i think he's very dexterous What's what's this guy? This is another Darrow. He's just special. And we have doggy. I mean, if you're if you're if you're trying to 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 diplomatize. Maybe you could try that, but I, uh, based off of what you're asking to do, uh, no. I mean, you can, it's really kind of like a coin badge that you can pull out, like a police badge. Age. 
All right. We have everybody? All right. So no one's really doing anything until Lassiter fires a guiding bolt. Is that right? Does anybody take actions before? Does uh, I'll give Leaf from Roderick the option to take an action before for uh, Lasseter shoots his guiding bolt. Yeah, so I'm basically going to. Let's see. So Lassiter, do you kind of wait until everybody's ready before you shoot the guiding bolt, or do you just shoot, just shoot, just go big and eat, and shoot your guiding bolt? Okay. Okay. So. We'll do this as preparation, so combat essentially isn't initiated in some, until somebody attacks or somebody gets into a point where they're obviously there. Basically, once you if you get onto the platform, you are no longer stealth, period. <laughs> if you're invisible, that's another matter altogether. All right, so let's let everybody do any preparations they're going to do before there's going to even be a, be any sort of attack. So any buff spells or anything you want to do beforehand. So haste onto Roderick. Okay, Roderick, you are hasted. So we'll give you... Uh, or an attack or dash or I think it's basically cunning action plus one attack all right um uh all right P everybody position yourself before you attack Gauge, gauge manifests one of the, an echo. All right. All right. Any other positioning? Right now, nobody has noticed you. Is CR one uh one half and as long as it doesn't have a flying speed. So an example would be like a crocodile. So you could go to extras like wild shapes and then just limit it to CR halves and and below. And and is not like a bird. Can't fly. Two more levels before that. Okay. Um, oops, world shape. You can use your action to magically assume. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, what what type of bear? Well, let's take a look here. Damage extras. Uh, wild shape. Sounds rating half. 
Uh, there, nope. There's the black bear. AC of 11, 19 hit points. 40 foot speed. But a black bear, if you want a bear, it is a CR half. Hmm? You'll have to do that on your uh, own character sheet. But I can give you a black bear. Thief is now a black bear. Out to his life right now. Uh, black bear. Uh, Lasseter gets access to the black bear. So you can use the black bear token, and I got it stat block, and uh, you can access this, its stack block in the uh, in roll twenty. So you can roll from there. But it, anything that's that's intelligence, charisma, or wisdom based, you can roll from these character sheets. I, I will say that's part of his his yeah initial. Use the black bear. I'll use his leaf. I'm just putting him off to the side while he's a bear. Yeah, so anything over over 19 will actually hit his regular hit points. Come on. Come on. What's the what's the, um, let me double check your night night vision here. Oh has vision. Vision. You have 120 feet night vision, right? Settings. I know some people I keep forgetting that for some reason the token's not updating properly. All right. Anybody else? Have any other issues? All right, who's going to actually kick off the fight? Are you going to wait for Lasseter's Guiding Bolt, or what are you going to do? All right. So we will start initiative, but you'll all get a turn before they get to go. We'll start at Lasseter. Lassiter, go ahead and kick it off. Uh, because they are surprised, I will say yes, you have advantage. And you're going after this guy? Which one are you going after? That does hit. Yeah, just have it auto roll damage. 
Let's just see that way faster. Mm, and the next attack against him has advantage. As he glows, he's like, "What?" Page is gonna. How far can he get? Just gonna run up past the bear and just kind of leap up onto the top. Yeah. About twenty. Oh, nope, it's just like itself. So, where is it? Here, and uh, go 30 feet. So, you see, see at the same time, the e gauge's echo and gauge comes running up right between Syra and he, he runs right between Syra and Leaf's bear form, form as. As on the other side of the bear, uh, his echo comes running up, and ju and they both quickly scramble up the the embankment and kind of get ready. Uh, Gage, you can tell which one is Gage because Gage has the lightsaber sword, and he's going to ready in action to attack something. But as a bonus action, he is going to have his. Echo attack this arrow. When it's actually you teleport magic. Oh no, he has to take the attack action for it to happen. Never mind. I thought you had that set up. If it, I think it should be in the settings. So if you click the Beyond 20 logo. There you go. Figured it out. Syra. None of them have been attacked yet. Gage only was able to get up there. And he wasn't going to take the dash action, so... He is dead. Okay. 
standing up from a pile of fungi in the far corner, Syra, you'll notice that uh, there is a, a giant guy who looks kind of like this. There we are. Stands up and goes, Roar! And goes, uh, I'm just charging over this way. As far as I can go. Yeah, I suppose that was supposed to be surprised. So, uh, is it? He just stands up. Here you go. Here you go. Well, it was going to take the dash action. Uh, Dara's still surprised. Uh, Holly. I forgot what I was doing. Rawr. Bubbles. Next save throw from the Darrow. Uh, fails. Shocking. It's, it's, it's really dry in here. <laughs> Anything else? Or did you have to ask? Okay. Uh, leaf bear. Oh, this one's this one's dead by the way. That'll hit. This mall's thing. They're dead. I think these there are not very strong. Dog is surprised. Derek surprised. Roderick. We are now, the ceilings are 50 feet high here. So you're halfway up the wall. Yeah, he's doing math.
Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you have enough movement. That'll hit. And he's down. It's the attack. Battle hit. When's the damage? He's looking pre pretty rough. Lassiter. By the way, you guys don't know what they were doing here. So. Yeah. Just murder hoboing. I'll hit. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Which is the same thing. Yeah, wherever. Yeah, where you want to point it. First guy? Okay. Yeah. Sure. By the way, he does his. Five more damage. I'm looking very good. Gage. He's like, why am I even here? And he's going to run. Actually, he's going to do this with his echo. He's just going to dash. Here. Okay. And he's just going to threaten this guy. <laughs> yeah, the dash. Yeah, the dash. Sarah. No, he's he's still alive, but he's not looking very good.
Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, could you show me your path again? I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Get around it. Oh, well, except for Gage. Although Gage was fine. He ran through it. It was just fine. That gauge is threatening. Oh, this one? Okay. He made, he succeeds. Anything happen anything happen on a on a success or Okay, cool. He goes he he kind of looks at you, uh little mad like and just growls and he, and kind of cringes just a little right to when he tries to sliver his mind but he drugs it off All right, so he he comes comes up and he's got two uh two weapons, a, a battle axe and a morning star, and he attacks he attacks Roderick with it with uh, each of them. Battle axe fifteen. Yeah, with the morning star. Uh, nine's going to miss. All right. Let's keep. All right. Darrow. The Darrow here is going to go. Uh, uh, uh. And. He's going to disengage. One's over here. Holly. Oh, wait. Go that far. You can only go there. Oh, is that no? Okay. Uh, 15, that does hit, so he does not go anywhere. Oh, no, it's only 10. That arrow's looking pretty rough, and he can't move because of Sentinel. Oh, he's just trailing behind. It's like, I want to kill something.
Did you have 40 feet because of uh, of movement? Well, he's not looking very good, so I'm not sure if two swigs are necessary. <laughs> That's kind of overkill. <laughs> but let's just say she's doing it recklessly because she's really frustrated. Let's get let, there. We go. You're like ah, and she just embeds the axe into uh, to his head. So well, she's probably not raging right now. <laughs> She's just very mad. <laughs> oh. Okay. What are they <laughs> She just crushes the head with the flat of the axe instead of the axe embedding. She just kind of like baseball swings up and goes, flat. All right. Last one. Yeah. All right. Oh, he skipped. Oh, we got. No, he she he's after Holly. So I haven't actually taken the that dog's turn. Leaf. Uh, I don't think anybody said so. No one, no one has mentioned anything about about avoiding it. Gage ran right through it, and it didn't seem to have any ill effects. So, however, however, Leaf would probably think of this. Would he think that have this magic circle would necessarily you know, like be any problem if you run right through it? Okay. Hey, roll an insight check. This is with Leaf's skills, by the way. Don't don't roll on the bear bear shape. Insight. Insight. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, you probably you probably have noticed it and being like, hmm, if Cyrus avoiding it. I should probably avoid it. I didn't make it that easy. If the eight was first, I probably would have. Said. He wants to, he can dash. Around Eric, so he is less likely to move. Now he's kind of surrounded. A little more difficult to move around. Yeah. The Death Dog. Hmm. Image, please. Uh, you hear some banging on the gate here. Now he finally gets.
Nope. There's just a statue in the middle of the circle. Is uh... Uh, disengage. Come over here. Yeah, he's just going to stick with that. Frederick it says, Grilla, Grilla, take care of them. Thirteen does hit. Okay. Nope. That's uh, he's probably well, it's a uh, Etten. Um, he's probably about ten feet tall. Um, it's actually a female. Make a note. This, yeah. It's, this is pro probably generic. The generic at an art. All right. Anything else? All right. Lasseter. And the Darrow. This one? This one? Okay, that's a Darrow. Cool. All right. I will give you the option. I know some people might say, well, spells cannot be non lethal, but it's also force damage. So you could just kind of like knock him unconscious with it with force. I, I could say it's kind of bludgeoning esque. Do you want to leave this guy alive or are you going to actually slaughter him? So you uh, knock him unconscious. Uh, not, not dead, unconscious. Here we go. Take off the X. Here we are. I mean, you could have if you wanted to. This is what Lassiter wanted.
He will acquiesce to the team's team's request. <laughs> All right. Anything else? The dog? Two headed, by the way. Etten. Uh, that will miss. All right. Stage. Holly in it. I'm just going to move her over so I can select both of these. So he's going to come over here and he's going to, the Dawn blade or the Dawnbringer blade is in the one that's furthest away. But suddenly it's hard to tell, but the, the one that had the Dawn blade suddenly turns to shadow and the Dawn blade blade kind of goes, goes black and shadowy and the shadow one turns into Gage and the sword turns into Dombringer. And he goes into for attack. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say he did more like he came down here. We'll say that so that he can give advantage. Take his attack action. Beam. Points of damage. Ugh, that's a bad one-handed roll. And attack number two. Ooh, that's a bunch better. Or good for the roll. Nine points a day. Yeah, technically. All right. Syra. Yeah, I will definitely say that Gage basically gives Roderick and Syra flanking. All right. Oh, she's going to start attacking Roderick. Again. Battle axe. 13. 20. Take 11 points of piercing damage. Morning star. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. You slow down in a more feminine voice. Slow down. Uh, all the Duro are dead. Holly. Hmm. 
She she can run through the circle. Gage ran through the circle and there was no problem. If she goes if she goes straight down, she would be in flanking position with Syra. Does she only have 40 feet of movement? Oh, that's too bad. Leaf. All right, bring it down. I'm doing the desk dog turn. There is a crash from behind you. Eight forty three. Right here, so <laughs> All right. Eric is unconscious. Frederick. Uh, oh, you got her bandage, uh, so that'll hit. That'll hit. Oh, I spoke to it. I spoke too soon, but still. <laughs> One arm strike. Okay, so an additional. Five points of damage. Woot. Yeah. So sixteen damage from the crit. And uh Roderick, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Poor Holly. <laughs> Skulls are crushed and splattered across the floor. Holly is raging mad. She is. She has not lost her rage because she's so frustrated. Uh, why? Because I said so. Um, Lassiter, Mister Sniper Boy. Eh, that's a stretch. Uh, hey, don't call me on a technicality. <laughs> or, or don't don't try to be technical on that. No, that's not how it works. Anyways, go ahead. Last turn. Uh, 
That'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, during okay you're like hey being a sniper is nice <laughs> all right you just come up this way and just raise an action for the desk dog to get in range Zyra? uh he will bonus action swap again All right, is there anything about whether he needs to based off of his intelligence score? Okay, okay just checking. So, uh, rolled a 13, so it takes 10 points of psychic damage. I know, I know some psychic, I know psych, some psychic abilities have it, like if they have a score of less than such and such, it doesn't affect them, so. Yeah. I wasn't sure. That's why I asked. Learn. Uh, was. Dead. Sarah's dead. Holly. <laughs> Just out of range. Okay, so um with her raging fury, with her wait, wait, are you thinking about something else? Oh, okay. I need her to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, cool. Go ahead, continue. Flying past. Lands on the ground. All right. Leaf. Yeah, if you have two attack. Oh, she only had one. The three. Yep.
All right, that's it. Cool. That dog has a target. Rawr, rawr. Gonna attack the attack the beggar that just ran up to him. Inch. Holes. Twenty-one. That probably hits the beggar, right? All right. Uh, I need uh, so the bear takes four points of damage and needs to make a Constitution saving throw. So you do that from the sheet. If you're talking, you're muted. Four damage. Four piercing damage. The Constitution saving throw. No, the bear's constitution. Basically, if it's physical, it's the bear's. If it's mental, it's uh, uh, Leaf's. So just make a con check. All right. Takes a six. All right. All right, so he is now diseased. Um, saving throw against disease or become poisoned. Is poisoned, I should say. That's it. Well, all it is. Uh, but he's going to make another bite attack because he's got two of them. Uh, for another eight points. Eric is unconscious. Roderick. Just foomp over to the... Now, what was your path you took? All right. You no, know, there, there, I, I, there's part where it could have touched the circle, but I'm going to not worry about it. I'm taking it that you're avoiding the circle. I'm sure there's enough movement. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see if you get it correct. The dog isn't looking very good. Yeah, uh, ten points of damage. Uh, crushing the skulls into the death dog too. Ollie is furious. Where else? Ollie, Ollie tur turns to Sarah. Next time, put that haste thing on me. <laughs> Very upset. That's because she's not as smart to ask you for it. <laughs> and plus the player is actually playing <laughs> running her. It's thinking about himself. <laughs> Anyways, we're done. Everything's done. You got an unconscious Darrow in the middle of a circle. Uh, this goes away. And yeah, we're at our time. So we will find out if you guys want to do anything after this, uh, after uh, the next next session. So good, good job. Just slaughtered the entire thing and snuck up on them. All right. They were just doing some sort of ritual in a cave full of fungus. With a bunch of two-headed things and a statue which looks like a giant that was growing another head. That's all.
Right. Thank you, Paul Rodgers.